Hi all, welcome to today's class. So this is an advanced short practice for anyone who's done yoga and wants a challenge and just wants a quick morning practice. So for my long classes, you can check out some of my courses through the Yoga Lives platform. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. This will be fun. We're going to be doing back bends a little bit and at the end we've got some fun things as well. So our intent for today's class is for relaxation, breathing deep, feeling into your body and strengthening. Okay, so starting knee pile, bring one leg over the other, your left leg. If you can't do knee pile, you can do cross legs. Inhale, bring your left arm up. Index and middle finger down. Bring finger and outside of right nostril. Inhale into left toe. Hold for 10. Exhale left. Inhale right for 10. Hold for 10. Okay, open your eyes or and change legs. So you don't have to have your eyes closed, I didn't mention that. Uh, but you can, I find it helps to get deeper into the breathing. And this is also called alternate nostril breathing as well. Inhale, bring your right arm out, index middle finger down, making a gangster sign. And bring finger and outside of the left nostril, inhale into right for 10. Hold for 10. Exhale left for 10. Inhale left for 10. Right. Okay, open your eyes. Coming into a forward bend, bring your right leg out and your left leg is bent. Inhale, bring your left arm up. Bring it on the inside of the left leg, end around. Grab and hold. Inhale, lengthen the back and exhale, come forward. Breathing into the shoulder, relaxing the neck. Inhale, come up, bring your right arm wings, left hand back. Inhale, lengthen the back and exhale, twist to your left. Bring it into the back and the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist. And come forward, bring your left leg in half loose or on the inside of the thigh. Inhale, left arm up, bring it over, grabbing your pinky toe or your shin if you can't reach your leg foot yet. Bring your right arm around. Inhale, lengthen the back and exhale, twist your right. Pull your right shoulder back, breathe into the ITB. Relax your knee. Inhale, lengthen the back, exhale, twist your right. Inhale, come up, bring your left leg out, right foot bent. Inhale, right arm up, bring it on the inside, end around, grab and hold. Inhale, lengthen the back, and exhale, come forward. Inhale, come up, 
Bring your left arm around, right hand back. Inhale, lengthen the back and exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Come forward, bring your front leg in past moments. Bring your right arm up, bring it over, left arm around the back, lengthen the back, exhale, twist your left. Breathing into whatever you feel is any tightness. Inhale, come up and lay on your back. Uh, if you have a block, grab a block or a roll, like a rolled up towel, or you can use a book as well. Place the block or roll between your thighs. Hands behind your head, legs straight up. Flex the toes, inhale, expand ribs, cut over, squeeze the block, exhale, elbows to your right knee. Squeeze block, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, tuck elbows, squeeze block, elbows to left knee, squeeze, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, tuck elbows, squeeze block, come forward, pull belly down. Exhale, come down. Inhale, expand ribs, squeeze the block, elbows to right knee, squeeze, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, tuck elbows, squeeze block, elbows to left knee. Squeeze, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, tuck elbows, squeeze block, come forward, pull belly down. Exhale, come down. Inhale, expand ribs, tuck elbows, squeeze block, elbows to right knee, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, tuck elbows, squeeze block, elbows to left knee, pull belly down. And come forward, squeeze, pull belly down. Exhale, come down. Inhale, expand your ribs, squeeze, walk, elbows to right knee, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center, tuck the elbows, squeeze, walk, elbows to left knee, pull belly down. And come forward, squeeze, pull belly down. Exhale, come down. Okay, great job. Remove the block. Come into broker, legs bent, and deep flex. Hands behind there. Inhale, expand the ribs, tuck the tailbones, pressing the low back into the mat. Exhale, elbows to right knee, extend left leg. This is called broga. So you place your right foot into the thigh. You can hold it with your hand if you need to. I find it easier to do it up. Crunch forward, pull down. Inhale, back center, tuck tailbone, elbows to left knee, extend the right leg, pull belly down. Place the foot into the thigh and crunch forward. Inhale back to center. Tuck the tailbone, elbows to right knee. Extend left leg, pull belly down. Place the foot into the thigh, crunch forward. Inhale back to center. Tuck the tailbone, elbows to left knee. Extend right leg, pull belly down. Place the foot into the thigh and crunch forward. Inhale back to center, tuck down, elbows to right knee. Extend left leg, pull belly down. Place the foot into the thigh and crunch forward. Inhale back to center, tuck down, elbows to left knee. Extend right leg, pull belly down. Place foot into the thigh, crunch forward. Inhale back to center, tuck tailbone, elbows to right knee, extend left leg, pull belly down, place the foot into the thigh, crunch forward. Inhale back to center, elbows to left knee, extend right leg, pull belly down, place foot into thigh, crunch. This is our last one. And then come back to center, exhale, put your toes down, feet down. Place your hands on your stomach. Deep breath. Okay, so coming into bridge, have your feet a little apart. 
lift up your hips into bridge and you'll need your block for this. Place block on the sacral. If you don't have a block, you can do bridge without a block. Just don't do the variations that we're about to do. Uh, so if you want to, keep your right foot flat or bring your right foot in half of your ass. So this is an advanced option. Inhale, left leg up, stretch it up, flex toes towards you, pull belly in. Square your hips, breathing into the hamstrings. And bring your ankle over your thigh, pull your left knee down. Inhale, right arm up, grab hold of pinky, exhale, pinky to back. Inhale, grab hold of your finger, exhale, pull back, breathe deep. Grab hold of middle finger, exhale, pull back. Inhale, grab hold of index finger, exhale, pull back. And grab hold of thumb, exhale, pull back. Chin side, left leg in half your asana. Work leg straight up. Flex toes towards you, pull belly in. Bring your ankle over your thigh, pull the right knee down. Inhale, left arm up, grab hold of pinky. Exhale, pull back. So these wrist stretches are really good. If you're working at a desk, if you are a musician like me, Inhale, grab hold of ring finger, exhale, pull back, breathe deep. Feeling your wrist, feeling the stretch through your wrist and your palm and your finger. Inhale, grab hold of ring finger, middle finger, exhale, pull back. Inhale, grab hold of index finger, exhale, pull back. And grab hold of thumb, exhale, pull back. Breathing into your hips as well. Arms down, feet down, tuck the toe in, and remove your block, bring your upper and middle go back down, roll onto your side, and come up slowly into dolphin prelude. So hands together, elbows apart, knees apart, and feet together. So you pull your hips back, bring your hands up, and pull your elbows forward, Relax the head and neck, breathe deep into the back. into flash prep, forearms down, knees heel width apart. First, bring your left forearm down, right hand under right shoulder. Inhale, push left shoulder back down around. Exhale, press back balls of, onto the balls of feet, straighten the legs. And if you want, bring your left leg up, pull the chest up, pull belly in. And if you really want to challenge, bring your right hand back, breathe deep, relax. Bring the hand down and the foot down, knees down, change sides, right forearm down, left hand under left shoulder, inhale, push right shoulder back down around, exhale, press back, balls of feet, straighten the legs, and bring your right leg up, stretch it up, pull the chest up, and bring the left arm back, relax everything. Bring your hand down, feet down, knees down, and stand at the top of the mat for suns. Inhale, arms up, tuck 
Exhale, we're pull belly in. Exhale, forward fold. And set the left foot back. Bring the arms up, lean into the lunge. Opening the chest and hips, breathe deep here. Hands down and step back into plank. And bring the knees down, torso down, chest down. Tuck the tailbone and pull the chest forward into Cobra. So press into hands, opening the shoulders and chest. Exhale, push back down and up. Press two hands, wrap shoulders. Inhale, step left foot forward into lunge. Bring the arms up. Hands down, step up, forward fold. Tuck tailbone, come all the way up. Arms up, exhale, namaste. Inhale, arms up, tuck tailbone, pull belly in. Exhale, forward fold. Step right foot back into lunge, and bring the arms up. Breathing into hips. Hands down, step back, plank. And bring knees down, torso down, chest down. Tuck the tailbone, pull the chest forward into cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Press the hands, wrap shoulders. Step right foot forward into lunge. Bring the arms up. Hands down, step up, forward fold. Tuck the tailbone and come all the way up. Arms up, exhale, namaste. Inhale, arms up, tuck tailbone, pull belly in, exhale, forward fold. Step left foot back into lunge and bring the arms up. Hands down, step back into plank. And bring the knees down, torso down, chest down. Tuck the tailbone, pull the chest forward into cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Press the hands, wrap shoulders. Inhale, step left foot forward into lunge. Bring the arms up. Hands down, step up forward fold. Tuck tailbone, come all the way up. Arms up, exhale, namaste. Inhale, arms up, tuck tailbone, pull belly in, exhale, forward fold. Step right foot back into lunge, and bring the arms up. Hands down, step back into plank, and bring knees down, torso down, chest down. Tuck the tailbone, pull the chest forward into cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Press the hands, wrap shoulders. Step right foot forward into lunge. And bring the arms up. Hands down, step up forward fold. Tuck tailbone, come all the way up. Arms up. Exhale, namaste. Okay, now bring your feet apart. Inhale, bring the arms up, tuck tailbone, pull belly and come into chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoot chest forward, lengthen the back. Hands down and step back, chaturanga. Come all the way down. Tuck the tailbone, pull the chest forward into cobra. Push back down dog. Press the hands, wrap shoulders. Inhale, step right foot forward. Lunge. H to the B. So, left hand will grab left foot or ankle. Pull the foot towards the butt. And right hand can stay on the thigh if that's like quite intense. Or bring the right hand on the foot. Inhale, pull the chest up. And exhale, pull the foot towards the butt. Just gently on the exhale. Shoulders up and back. Breathing deep into chest. 
chest and shoulders. Smiling, enjoying the pose, of course. Even if it's intense, breathe into the intensity of that. Slowly come out of that. So this is an advanced class, so we're straight into it. Um, there's no, there's nothing really beginner about it. Okay, so that was the title. So if you find it challenging, you can check out another one of my class, work on that one, come back to this one when you're ready. Um, yeah, so both legs are 90 degrees. This is interlock lunge. So you'll probably need a strap or a belt or something, anything like a strap belt or rope, but ideally a strap is best. Um, if you're super flexible, you can probably do it without a strap. Um, but I used a strap for a while before I did it without a strap, so it is quite hard. <laughs> Inhale, bring your left arm up. So with a strap, you will hold the strap and you bring it over your, your right thigh and you thread the strap through, your right arm around, lean forward, and you grab the other part of the strap and pull both hands on the strap. You don't need the strap. You can grab your hands and then relax head and neck. Twist your right. Breathe into the shoulder and the back. So this is quite an intense stretch for the shoulders, um, but it's very good. Relaxing uh, once you get the hang of it. Breathing deep, enjoying the intensity of it. And slowly come out of that. Okay, pigeon twisting towards the foot. So bring your front leg, your right leg, into a 90 degree angle. Grab your arm and your elbow, place it on the foot if you can, or somewhere along the leg. Wherever you can reach it, make a fist with the right hand, left hand goes on that fist. Exhale, twist to your right, to your left, and relax. Breathe deep. Okay, bring your hands down, step back into down dog. Press the hands, wrap shoulders. Step left foot forward, lunge, H to the B. So right hand will grab right foot or ankle. Pull foot towards the butt, opening chest and shoulders. Left hand on the thigh or on the foot. Oh, the breathing deep into the hips. Enjoying the intensity. This is really good to release any stuck energy in the hips. We find the more you do this, the looser and more relaxed you become. Uh, you won't feel pain anymore. Because that's what happened for me. I used to be a lot stiffer in the hips and other areas of my legs. Now there's basically nothing hardly ever there. Um, just because of doing this practice consistently. Now come up, both legs 90 degrees. Squeeze right glute, bring your right arm up, bring it over the left thigh. Same thing with the strap. Thread the strap through if you're using this. Right, uh, left arm around the back, grab hold of the strap or the hands and exhale, relax the neck. Twisting, pulling the left shoulder back. Breathe into the hip. Now come forward, bring the left leg into pigeon uh, 90 degrees and bring your elbow where you can reach it. Make a fist with the left hand, right hand on that fist. Exhale, twist to your right. Relax head and neck, breathing into the glutes or the hips, wherever you feel it.
hands down, sit back down though. Cross the hands, wrap shoulders. And step up, forward fold. Bend knees, coming to chair. Excellent, hands down. Inhale, arms up, bend knees into chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop chest forward, lengthen the back. Hands down and step back, chaturanga. Come all the way down. Tuck the tailbone, pull the chest forward into cobra. And exhale, push back down though. Press your hands, wrap shoulders. Step right foot forward. Lunge back, bend. So both legs 90 degrees. Similar to lunge H to the B. You grab your foot with your hand. But this time, your chest is up and right hand on the thigh or on the foot. But this time you pull your foot away from you. Make sure you're squeezing your left glute. Breathing into the shoulders. This is great for opening the chest. and exhale, pull the foot away. Inner thigh switched on for balancing. Exhale, slowly come out of that. Bring your right leg into a pigeon. So this is pigeon back bend. Bring your left leg up, grab the ankle. And you can keep your hand down if you need to for now. Square your hips to the front. Or you can have both hands. Now pull the chest up. And exhale, pull the foot away from you. And slowly come out of that. So the next one is called Wave Dancer, Pigeon to Wave Dancer. So it's quite challenging. You might just want to stick with Pigeon if it's too much. So you can bring your arms down, your head down like this, that's Pigeon. If you want to do this, you can do variation one, which is easy, or you can do variation two, which is quite challenging. So variation one, you keep your left hand down, you bring your right arm around, you grab your foot, ideally, or your waistband if you can't grab your foot. Um, but yeah, if you can grab your toes, um, if you can't grab it yet, you can always do the pigeon. Um, now bring your left leg up. For this, this is variation two, so this is the advanced. While you are grabbing your toes, you're pulling your chest up, pulling your shoulder back, pulling your foot back, breathing deep into the chest and the hips. Smiling. Slowly bring your hands down, step back into down dog. And bring your left leg forward, lunge, hands to the knee, both legs 90 degrees, squeeze right glute, bring right hand to right ankle, pull chest up, pull shoulders back. Breathing deep into the hips and the shoulders, relaxing head and neck. gently pulling the foot away on the exhale. Bring your left leg into pigeon. Bring your right leg back. Bring your foot up. And left hand on the mat or on the foot. Pull your chest up. Pull the foot away from you. Breathing deep, relaxing, squaring your hips. So 
slowly coming out of that, either into pigeon now, or wave dancer, bring your left arm around, grab your foot or your waistband, and then right hand grabs the other foot, pull the chest up, square the hips to the front, pull your foot away from you, breathing deep into the back, the shoulders, smiling, enjoying the stretch. I didn't, I wasn't able to do this easily before. Uh, it's still a challenge, but practice gets you there. Okay, hands down, step back down dog. Press the hands up shoulders. And step up forward fold. Tuck tailbones, bend the knees, come into chair. Exhale, hands down. Now, sitting on the mat, coming into wheel pose, it's our fun pose for today. Laying on your back, hands either side of your shoulders, top tower, lift up the hips, and come into wheel. Like this, pressing through hands. So you're pushing through your hands, opening the back, relaxing the head and neck. If you want a challenge, you can bring your forearms down like this, press through the forearms, breathing deep here into the intensity. Slowly come out of that, that's quite challenging. Okay. Lean your side and sit up. Coming into spinal twist in half lotus or in cross legs is okay too. Bring one leg over in half lotus. Bring your left arm around, grab hold of your waistband or your foot. Other hand on your knee. Bring your legs in the back and exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, Forward, change legs, other leg open. Right arm around, grab hold of the waistband or the foot, other hand on the knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist the torso. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twisting, bringing the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. You come forward, laying your back for Shavasana. So, palms up, eyes closed. Deep breath in, hold your breath and squeeze your toes, feet, ankles, arms, legs, glutes, stomach, back, shoulders, arms, hands like this, neck, face, head, squeeze it really, really tight. And exhale, look back.
breathe in deep, bring all your fingers and toes, fully relax, calm, and energized. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Pull them to the side. Slowly. Hands together. Namaste. I trust you enjoyed today's class and maybe you found it a bit of a challenge doing some new poses. Um, so yeah, keep working on it. You can do this lesson as often as you like and if you want more, you can check out some of my other videos on YouTube or on Yoga Life or you could book a private class or a group class with me. And enjoy your day. I'll see you guys in the next video.